platform. Namaskar, this is Nirja, and you are listening to Travel World Online. News highlights of the day. Mango Hill Hotels in India migrates to the cloud with Hotlogix for efficient group operations. IHG adds 350 keys to Punjab portfolio with a dual hotel signing. Gwalior finds place in UNESCO's Creative Cities Network. Global travel and tourism industry to achieve $15 trillion mark in 10 years, WTTC. Traftlin and Resorts World Cruises bring exclusive cruise tourism to Indian shores. Vietjet soars in quarter 3, reaches 95% annual revenue target. Hotlogix, a globally leading cloud-based hospitality technology provider, said that Mango Hill Hotels in India has adopted its multi-property management system to manage group operations, including reservations and online distribution centrally. It also states that the group is eyeing on expanding its portfolio with Hotlogix's technology platform. Mango Hill Hotels manages eight properties across popular leisure destinations in South India, including Uti, Pondicherry, Kodaiknal, Yekod, Chennai, etc. The group's properties offer a unique blend of mindfulness and luxury, capturing local culture for a meaningful experience. With decades of experience in hospitality, it takes pride in its exceptional guest service. As part of their expansion plan, they will add 1,000 plus rooms by the end of March 2024. Earlier, Mango Hill Hotels ran operations with a server-based solution across all its properties. It didn't help gain a centralized view of their group's operations from their corporate office. Moreover, they couldn't access unit group-level data and hotel positions on the go. Additionally, it lacked the required features like central reservation office, pro, group-wide reports, and third-party integration capabilities to help them with central management of reservations and distribution. As a group, gaining efficient centralized control over our operations from reservation to distribution is paramount, and the earlier server-based system was far from what we wanted. It led us to migrate to the cloud for better business control, and Hotlogix was the obvious choice as it met all our requirements, said Gayatri Om Sarvanam, Executive Director of Mango Hill Hotels. Hotlogix has also offered the India-based group a mobile hotel PMS app to manage operations and access business data anywhere they want. While the Central Reservation Office, Pro, will allow the group to handle reservations from the Central Office, the channel manager integration will enable them to ensure real-time distribution and rate inventory parity across multiple OTAs. Most importantly, system-generated group-level reports will assist them in making informed decisions. Speaking about their experience with Hotlogix, Himanshu Sajdev, VP Operations and Sales at Mango Hill Hotels, said, We are delighted with Hotlogix. They made the onboarding process for the first batch of our five properties a breeze by taking them live in just 15 days. Their support and training are excellent. Hotlogix has undoubtedly offered us a robust cloud platform to accelerate our future expansion. Cloud adoption among hotel groups is in full swing now, and we are happy to see Mango Hill Hotels taking the right step towards unparalleled business transformation and growth said Siva Prasad Gangadharan, Chief Sales Officer at Hotlogix. We thank them for selecting us as their hospitality technology partner, and we welcome them to our growing client base in India. IHG Hotels and Resorts, one of the world's leading hotel companies, has signed a management agreement with NK Sharma Hospitality PVT LTD to develop two new hotels in the Chandigarh Tri-City Area Crown Plaza Chandigarh Jiratpur in the premium segment and Holiday Inn and Suites Chandigarh Jiratpur from the Essentials Collection. Currently under construction, both hotels are scheduled to open in January 2027. Complementing Holiday in Chandigarh Panchkula and Holiday in Chandigarh Jiratpur, the dual signing will strengthen IHG's offerings in Punjab and add over 350 keys to the company's portfolio in the state. 
forming a cluster in Jiratpur. The new hotels will be strategically located adjacent to National Highway 22, one of the busiest highways in India, attracting travelers from nearby cities and towns. Once opened, both Crown Plaza Chandigarh Jiratpur and Holiday Inn and Suites Chandigarh Jiratpur will be positioned amongst the large banqueting facilities, with approximately 100,000 square feet of meeting space, poised to meet the high demand for weddings, conferences, and events from Jiratpur, Chandigarh, Mohali, Panchkula and Dera Basi. Situated in close proximity to Himachal Pradesh, Haryana, and Uttarakhand, the hotels will tap into guests seeking ideal stopovers for travelers on leisure trips. Commenting on the signings, Sudeep Jain, Managing Director, Southwest Asia, IHG Hotels and Resorts said, We are thrilled to expand our mainstream offering with another holiday in hotel in Punjab in the vibrant local of Jiratpur, and to introduce Crown Plaza Chandigarh Jiratpur alongside our long-standing partners NK Sharma Hospitality PVT Limited, The hotel's strategic location along the NH22 and their easy accessibility to popular leisure destinations like Shimla and Kasoli will undoubtedly prove to be a significant draw for travelers across segments, both leisure and business. He added, IHG has been increasingly focusing on emerging markets in India and the addition of two new hotels to the burgeoning Tri-City area of Chandigarh, Panchkula, and Jiratpur will enable us to cater to the growing demand of quality accommodation in this dynamic region. NK Sharma, Managing Director at NK Sharma Hospitality PVT Limited added, We are delighted to further strengthen our partnership with IHG hotels and resorts through the expansion of Holiday Inn and Suites and to debut Crown Plaza in Punjab. Building upon the success of Holiday in Chandigarh Panchkula, we have confidence that our partnership will prove to be fruitful, dedicated to providing top-quality hospitality to our guests. We look forward to harnessing the benefits of IHG's global systems and robust loyalty program to maximize our mutual success. UNESCO has included Gwalior as the city of music under the Creative Cities Network UCCN. 55 cities from all over the globe joined the UCCN. Gwalior was acknowledged for its strong commitment to harnessing culture and creativity as part of UNESCO's development strategies and displaying innovative practices in human-centered urban planning. The project was led by Madhya Pradesh Tourism Board in cooperation with the Municipal Corporation of Gwalior, Gwalior Smart City Development Corporation Limited. Raza Mansingh Tomar Music and Arts University, music artists and other stakeholders. The network now includes 350 cities in over 100 countries, representing seven creative fields, crafts and folk art, design, film, gastronomy, literature, media arts and music. Since 2019, continuous efforts have been made including multiple stakeholder consultations, and a dedicated feasibility study of the city to map the potential for UCCN membership followed by the drafting of the application. Gwalior serves as an exemplary example of living cultural heritage and it houses one of the biggest annual music festivals of India, the Tansin Sangeet Samaro to celebrate the rich culture of Madhya Pradesh. Principal Secretary Tourism and Culture Department and Managing Director, MP Tourism Board, Shio Shekhar Shukla. IS, quoted inclusion of Gwalior by UNESCO under the Creative Cities Network is definitely a big shot in the arm which goes a long way to tell the whole world about the cultural richness of Madhya Pradesh. Gwalior being the city of Tansen, Baju Bavra, the birthplace of Drupad music form and Gwalior Gharana, which are world known for musical practices and traditions which are alive even today have been very persistently conserved and preserved and now on the occasion of Madhya Pradesh Foundation Day, it has been recognized by UNESCO by including Gwalior as a city of music. Joint Director, Planning, Madhya Pradesh Tourism Board, Prashant Singh Baghel highlighted, through the designation to the UCCN, we envision the realization of the city's goals towards achieving overall sustainable development with music as the key driver.
This includes the creation of new economic and artistic opportunities for the local youth, making the city an education hub for music, cultural infrastructure development, linking of the music sector with tourism, urban renewal and mobility and enhancing access to arts and culture. Speaking at the opening press conference of its 23rd Global Summit, WTTC President and CEO Julia Simpson said the latest data highlights that the sector, which was badly hit during the COVID-19 pandemic, is now recovering faster than anticipated. The travel and tourism sector has marked a robust bounce back to the pre-pandemic levels would generate 10 trillion US dollars by the end of 2023 and become a 15 trillion US dollars economy in the next 10 years, the World Travel and Tourism Council WTTC, said. We are in 2023 and I am delighted to say that we have recovered, and by the end of this year, the industry will be worth nearly 10 trillion US dollars. Despite China's full recovery potential yet to be realized, the sector's performance is exceeding expectations. But, we are practically there, Simpson said as the summit commenced on Wednesday. In the next 10 years, the industry will go way ahead of the 10 trillion US dollars mark. This sector will be worth nearly 15 trillion US dollars, Simpson said. Though China is one of the biggest travel and tourism economies, the country is still going through opening processes and making sure people can travel and get visas, she added. Citing the latest WTTC data, she said despite geopolitical and economic turmoil in 2023, the sector has demonstrated a fast recovery against our initial expectations. Our previous prediction in March has now been exceeded by the sector's performance. Travclan, a leading global B2B travel tech platform, has broken new grounds with its announcement to partner with Resorts World Cruises. Known for its rich Asian heritage and unparalleled dedication to crafting bespoke international voyages, Resorts World Cruises is set to redefine luxury travel experiences. With this groundbreaking collaboration, Traftlin is on a mission to make dreamy cruise getaways a reality for Indian families and adventure seekers, all at prices that won't break the bank. Traftlin and Resorts World Cruises partnership aims to democratize cruise tourism for Indian travelers, traditionally hindered by high costs and limited options for budget-conscious individuals. By providing a diverse array of cruise choices tailored to various traveler preferences, Resorts World Cruises is redefining the cruise experience as more accessible and inclusive. Beyond being a mere cruise brand, it specializes in crafting customized cruise lifestyle products, seamlessly blending luxury, adventure, and the exploration of global destinations. Speaking about this, Chirag Agrawal, co-founder of Traftlin, said, cruise tourism has long captivated Indian travelers, yet high costs have deterred many, particularly families, from indulging in this sought-after vacation option. According to industry data, only a fraction of Indian travelers opt for cruises, indicating a significant untapped market. Our groundbreaking alliance with Resorts World Cruises is poised to revolutionize this landscape, making the thrilling and unforgettable cruise experience accessible to all Indian holidaymakers. This collaboration is set to not only broaden their horizons, but also significantly impact the cruise industry, tapping into the immense potential of the Indian market. Naresh Raval, Vice President of Sales for Resorts World Cruises, said, with millions of outbound international travelers, India has an incredible market potential for the growth of cruise tourism especially among the millennials who are increasingly looking for novel and luxurious travel experiences. By partnering with Traftlin, we hope to reach out to those millions of tourists and familiarize them with the diversity of our offerings. It is a win-win situation for all stakeholders, and we believe that this collaboration contributes to further growth of this sector in India. This partnership blends the essence of Resorts World Cruises' opulent Asian legacy and its dedication to tailored luxury with Traftlin's worldwide proficiency and dedication to empowering travel agents. 
Beyond the conventional sale of cruise packages, this partnership is geared towards crafting unforgettable moments, discovering uncharted territories, and embracing the allure of marine luxury and exploration. Steering towards green and sustainable development, with extensive international network, Vietjet Aviation Joint Stock Company has reported impressive performance over the first nine months of 2023. In Q3-2023, Vietjet safely operated 36,000 flights and transported 6.8 million passengers, including 2.3 million international travelers. This marks a 10% increase over the third quarter of pre-pandemic 2019 and a remarkable 127% YOVI growth. During the first nine months of 2023, Vietnam welcomed 23.7 million international passengers through its airports, skyrocketing by 267% YOVI. In particular, Vietnamese airlines carried 11.5 million travelers of which 51% of 5.9 million flew with Vietjet, greatly supporting inbound tourism and international investment. Vietjet's fleet consists of 103 aircraft, including 18 operated by Thai Vietjet and two brand new aircraft being on delivery. The airline has reported a relatively high average seat utilization rate of over 85%, and a technical reliability rate of 99.72%. The total transported cargo volume reached 20,300 tons, growing by 76% YOVI. VHIT accounted for 23% of the cargo market share among Vietnamese airlines. While meeting the demand for travel to popular destinations abroad, VHIT's international routes have contributed to the bilateral development of tourism, trade and investment, offering support to the economic recovery. The airline, in Q3-2023, opened seven new international routes, bringing the total number of routes to 125, 45 domestic and 80 international routes. It is the first airline to have flights connecting Vietnam with the five largest cities in Australia, including Perth, Adelaide, Brisbane, Melbourne, and Sydney. Vietjet separate and consolidated revenues were reported at VND 13,548 trillion, approx 551 US dollars and 38 cents million, and VND 14,235 trillion, approx 579.34 million US dollars, respectively in Q3/2023, increasing by 32% and 23% YOVI. Separate and consolidated after-tax profits reached BND 579 billion, approx 23.58 million US dollars, and VND 55 billion, approx 2.23 million US dollars, respectively, up by 175% and 30% YOVI. The airline, with stable operations and development, has been upgraded to VNBBB credit rating from VNBB Plus with a stable outlook by Sagon Ratings, Vietnam's first independent credit rating agency. With a strategy to build the aviation human resources of international standards, Vietjet has also invested in infrastructure upgrade and developing a pool of trainers at the Vietjet Aviation Academy, VJ. In September 2023, VJ officially signed a cooperation agreement and became a training partner of the International Air Transport Association, IATA. The airline has also received numerous international and domestic awards, including Asia's leading airline for customer experience by the World Travel Awards, Top 100 Most Valuable Brands in Vietnam, and Top 10 Strong Brands for Sustainable Development 2023. Meanwhile, Vietjet Skyjoy was the new innovative product at the Better Choice Awards. Utilizing advanced digital technology and a comprehensive aviation service ecosystem, Vietjet has constantly introduced new and innovative products, including the Skycare Travel Insurance Program, Deluxe Class with Superior Amenities, and the Fly Now, Pay Later financial solution that supports flexible airfare payment. The Skyjoy program, 
dedicated for Weijit's loyal customers, allows them to redeem rewards with over 250 brands, exchange tickets, and enjoy attractive airfares. The program has had 10 million members in the third quarter of 2023. While still committing to its mission of realizing the flying dream for millions of Vietnamese and international travelers, Vietjet has been all in for environmental and community responsibilities in each locality where it operates. In October 2023, Vietjet launched the Fly Green fundraising program with the meaningful message of every red ticket for one green planet. Accordingly, the airline contributes BND 5,000. Approx US 20 cents from each ticket sold to the fund to sponsor environmental protection programs. That's all in bulletin. For the latest updates, keep listening to Travel World Online Radio with you always. Kabhi bhi, tahi.